So after about eight or nine days, you will have this super active, natural leaven for your bread. And so now I'm going to make a loaf of sourdough. Now this will live in the fridge, but what you need to do to keep it alive is once a week, do what we were doing every day. So what you do is spoon out four spoonfuls, add in three spoons of flour, three spoons of water, mix it up and put it back in the jar and it'll just keep it fed and that will keep it going for about a week at a time. But when you want to make your loaf of bread, freshen it up anyway. So if you're thinking, right, tomorrow I'm going to make a loaf of sourdough, freshen this up so that it's nice and active before it starts to make its loaf of bread. Right, here we go. I've got my fresh active starter. It's the night before I want to make my bread. I transfer the measured amount of starter along with some warm water and plain flour into the bowl, mix it up and put a shower cap over the top and just leave it overnight. The next morning, just look at those bubbles. It's good to go. So in the mixer with more flour and salt, mix it to a smooth dough, leave it to rise in a greased bowl and that's rise number one. And I will come continue to do this repeating over and over again because we're going to do three more rises so I, what I tend to do is just make a mark with a washable pen on the top of my shower cap so I know exactly where I'm up to so there's rise number two rise number three and when we get to rise number four that's when I put the risen dough into the basket that it's going to bake in fourth and final shaping. So here's my risen dough after number three and I'm going to bake this sourdough loaf in one of these baskets but what you have to do is flour it really well because once it's proved and risen then you have to turn it out before you bake with it. So right here we go. I'm giving my proving basket a good dusting of flour, turn out my risen dough for the last time, quickly knock it back and then lay it smooth side down into the basket, cover it again with the shower cap and leave it until it doubles in size just over an hour and then gently invert it onto um, a piece of baking parchment and then carefully just lift off that basket, bake for half an hour and oh, this was worth the effort.